Chick-fil-A at the Garden State Plaza Mall. Mention NorthJerseySports.com with any purchase and get a free chicken sandwich. This is a NorthJerseySports.com Athlete of the Week, sponsored by Chick-fil-A at the Garden State Plaza Mall. This week's Athlete of the Week is Victoria Corcoran from Northern Valley Demers. Victoria, congratulations. Hi, thank you so much. Well, uh, it was a pretty crazy week, a 3-0 week for the Norse women. Uh, let's start with Monday, big game against Rutherford, first round of the county tournament. Yeah. Uh, Rutherford, a very scrappy team. I mean, just talk about that game in general. Um, that game was really good. Uh, Mackenzie Price really stepped up for us. Brianna was moving the ball around well. We always like talk about how she's like our quarterback. She's the one who gives us good passes, and Mackenzie was knocking down shots when we needed her to. And it was just a really good game, competitive. Rutherford's a really good team. They didn't have to be playing in the Bergen County tournament, and it really just showed how like determined they were to play us, show them what they got, and they really did. It was a close one. And uh, then you have Ramapo, uh, always been a big rival. Uh, you had 18 points in that game, four rebounds, three assists, two steals, but you were 10 for 10 from the line in a 47-39 upset. Did you feel in that game, all right, I have to be, you know, struggled a little bit against Rutherford. Did mm -hmm. you feel against Rampo, I have to be a little more aggressive going to the basket? Yeah, definitely. It's my senior year, so um, you really want to do it for your team, do it for, like, the program. And uh, Rampo is a good team. They've always been a good team. They're ranked really high, and they're still in the Bergen County tournament like us. And... Um, I just I just knew that this te like this team really knew this win, and we've been practicing foul shots all the time. Like we don't want to be losing by one or two points by missing a foul shot or two when it comes down to that. So, and then the big game, uh, you know, <laughs> undefeated Queen of Peace yeah. in the round 16 of the Burton County tournament in one of the craziest games ever in the history of the tournament. You had 36 points, 25 in the first half. Talk about how it felt like to be in the zone, and when did you really know you were in it? Um, I think it came down to um, just the start when, like you said in your report, that Bronca got that tip for us. Like, no one was expecting her to get off that, that tip from the 6'4 girl or whatever, and um, we just started off strong. We moved the ball around well. I didn't really know if I was in the zone or not. I just was playing basketball like with my team. Like We all just were playing really well, and the 36 points really didn't matter because we wouldn't have won if Mackenzie didn't knock down that shot in the last second of the game, so. Talk about that late sequence. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you're down four, under a minute to play. You know, you're just trying to cut into it and stay in it. Uh, you know, Bree comes up with a big loose ball, gets it out to you to the top of the key. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they were closing out on you. Were you thinking of driving, or were you thinking, if I get the ball, I'm shooting? Um, I, knew, I knew that we really needed a, a big shot here. I wasn't really thinking about it too much. I just, I was wide open. Bree was good, as she always does, like passing me the ball. and. I knocked down that shot, and it just felt really good. But um, it wasn't over. We still had to push through. We still had that drive. Like we wanted to win. We like we knew that this win would mean so much to the program, so much to our team, and we just worked hard for it. Talk about you know as involved as you were in that game, that last sequence you weren't really involved. You know, Brianna rips yeah. the ball away. You know, it's dribbling down the court, and you're kind of trailing behind. Your eyes were as biggest saucers. I mean, talk about how <laughs> the emotions that went into that. Um, when I saw Bree driving, I saw the girl slowly sneak in from Queen of Peace. Like, she stood up like this, like, going to take the charge. And then um, Bree obviously read that, too, and kicked it out to Mackenzie in the short corner, who read it really well and was open. And when Mackenzie shot that, I was like, oh, my God. And then all of a sudden, I see the ball spinning. I'm like, please, please, please go in. And then it went in, and I felt we all fell to the ground. We all tackled each other. Like, it was just the best feeling like a team could have. Like, that's probably one of my top feelings in my whole high school career. Uh, all right. So now let's go to the big four. The big uh, four <laughs> questions for Victoria Corcoran. Oh, gosh. All right. First of all, uh, you and your twin sister, Veronica, are going to play beach volleyball on the Division One level at the University of New Orleans. Yes. What made you choose beach volleyball, and why the University of New Orleans? Um, beach volleyball is really competitive. We only just recently started it this past summer, and we just went to tournaments like every weekend. We trained in the city. Um, it's just really it's a, about a game of smartness and about just – I don't know, working together with your partner really well. And me and Veronica already have that connection. We've been having that connection since we were born. So 
um, just playing with her, you just it's just a great feeling. And obviously playing with six girls too is a great feeling too, but um, I think beach volleyball is just, um, just more fun, I think, for me. I think it's more fun. Two, do you have any pregame superstitions? I do. Um, before every game, I always have to do my nails. Like, even if they're already, like, done, like, I have to, like, redo them and, like, just do another coat over them. And then every, th every day, like, before a game, I make sure I have this one ponytail I always wear. And those are my two. All right. Those are my two. Favorite meal you've ever had? Um, that'd be my mom's lasagna. She's one of, the, like, the best cooks ever. And she... You just know, like, the smell, the smell when you walk in after practice or a game, like, you know she's cooking lasagna, and I just get so excited. Uh, last question. Talk about the confidence you have going into both the Teaneck game mm -hmm. and the Immaculate Conception County game this weekend, and what do you feel the keys to victory are? Um, we're very confident, but we have to stay composed and hungry and still just play our game. Like, it's, it's just another basketball game we've been playing since we were younger. Like, it's, it obviously it has higher stakes, but um, I think we just have to stick to our game plan, do what we do best, shoot, move the ball around, drive to the basket, and I think we'll be good. Athlete of the Week, Victoria Corkett from Northern Valley Demarest. Victoria, thank you. thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. All right, Victoria, as you know, the NorthJerseySports.com Athlete of the Week is sponsored oh. by Chick-fil-A at the Garden State Plaza Mall, so this is Thank for you. Thank you so much. Now, did you know that at the Garden State Plaza Mall, if you mention NorthJerseySports.com with any purchase, you get a free chicken sandwich? I did not, but now I know, so uh -huh. thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't have to be Athlete of the Week to get part of this promotion. Go to Chick-fil-A at the Garden State Plaza Mall and mention NorthJerseySports.com with any purchase and get a free chicken sandwich. NorthJerseySports.com Athlete of the Week. You can nominate an athlete by tweeting at us, hashtag NJSAOTW, or emailing us at NJSAOTW at gmail.com. A bar and challenge coming soon to NorthJerseySports.com. Richie B takes on Victoria Corcoran of Demarest High School in a three-point contest and see who can hit a half-court shot.